Welcome to the American Movie Podcast. This is Matthew Benjamin. Thank you for stopping by. Today we're going over the Gulag Archipelago. <laughs> And this was an incredible book. Uh, it was really dark, really eye-opening. Three volumes, which equates to around 2,100 pages. And it's it's really, really fascinating and illuminating. It was written by Alexander Solzhenitsyn. And the Gulag Archipelago is about the Soviet force, the labor camp system. And yes, this three-volume book, I've read the abridged. But after reading it, I now know in the future that I will be reading the three volumes in their entirety. The book relies heavily upon eyewitness testimonies, primary research material, and the own experiences of Alexander himself as a prisoner in the Gulag labor camp. And this was written in between 1958 and 1968. And it was published in the West in 1973, and thereafter Alexander won the Nobel Prize in 1970. And its name is an acronym that represents the prison and labor camps scattered throughout the Soviet Union, and it is called the Gulag Archipelago. Now, this is not for the faint of heart. It's an incredibly dark, dark book. The book is meant to explain what communism and Marxism, what it really is. A hundred million people died during the promotion of the Marxism ideology. It also illuminates the heinous darkness that it that this brings out in it. This is the same ideology that Venezuela, North Korea, the Soviet Union, of course, and Cuba all abide by. Now, this book is super dense. It goes over how they arrested people, how they tortured people, how they whittled away their souls and their bodies, the punishment of millions of people endured. It literally became illegal to complain. His psychological presentation of how the guards thought and how the prisons thought was unbounded. It is so eye-opening. He goes over all of the heinous conditions in which people were kept and transported. There was multiple instances where he described the trains in which people were put upon and then taken to the Arctic tundra of Siberia. Gulag Archipelago is spellbounding on how it's written. I recommend it if you want to know the darkest human capacities extrapolated across large spans to promote Marxism. If you have any questions about this book or you would like me to go thoroughly in depth, please let me know in the comment section below. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Matthew Benjamin with the American Movie Podcast going over the Gulag Archipelago written by Alexander Solzhenitsyn. Now that I've kind of went over what happens inside the book, I want to just explain my experience with the book. And the book was just, it was incredibly dark. I know I've said that, but it was just, what makes it so bone chilling is that it all occurred and it all is true, but no one speaks of it. Like there's multiple times where you get to see the hammer and sickle, but it doesn't have that exact punch that the um, Nazi symbol has. Like we absolutely know for a fact that Nazis are horrible and we condemn them. But when we see the hammer and sickle with the red and yellow flag, it's just not as um, innate or the initial response isn't the exact same, even though millions of people died. The state ideology promoted these horrendous atrocities towards all of these people just to push the machine forward of the Soviet Union so the state could become more powerful. He creates this narrative that I don't, I don't know if I've ever experienced before just because I think it carried so much weight because you understand that it's real or it actually has happened. And once you understand that these things are actually that these things that people are capable of these things, it totally opens your mind up to different possibilities of the human capacity. And it's, it's very, very dark. And I think a lot of people should read it. I think it should be put in schools just because you don't learn this. You don't learn the heinous treatment of human beings by this. And yeah, so I that has been my take on it, my experience when reading it, is that there are different ideologies and there are different ways people get treated when you adopt 
different ideologies. And then when it's put upon a polity or like a state or a country, you just see it at a grandmaster scale. And so this has been Matthew Benjamin. This was just my experience at the end of it. I just wanted to give a review, a formal review of it at the beginning. So you kind of understood what happens in it. And then this was my experience with it. So thank you so much for watching. This has been Matthew Benjamin. Until next time.